If you want to learn how to create dynamic organizational charts like this, then keep on watching. Hello, my name is Tony, and this is my channel, Ready Steady Excel. If you want to learn more about these applications here, then by clicking subscribe and hitting the bell, you'll be on the right track. Organizational charts are useful for showing the reporting lines within an organization. They're also great for new joiners so they can see who's who. But often they are hard to update as it can be quite fiddly moving the boxes around to accommodate new people and changes within the firm. Now forget about smart art, forget about shapes. I'm gonna show you a better way, a dynamic way. Are you ready? Are you steady? Come on, let's get on with it. To create a dynamic org chart, you need some data. And this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need an employee ID, which will be unique. So in this example, it says DM, then one to six. So DM is Dunder Mifflin. Then I've got the name, so that's the employee's name, their job title. So these two columns will appear in the org chart itself. Then I've got the manager ID. So this is who this person reports to. So for example, Jim Helper, the manager ID is DM1. So he reports to Michael Scott. To give you another example, Meredith Palmer, her manager ID is DM8, and she reports to Angela Martin. And in the last column there, we've got the role type. So this determines the style of the box in the org chart. To create our org chart, we need to add a new sheet. So if I click down here, plus. To create our dynamic org chart, we need to insert an add-in, and it's a free add-in. So if I go to insert, add-ins, get add-ins, what I'm going to search for is Visio. Now you don't need to have Visio installed to be able to use this add-in. You just need to have a Microsoft 365 account and this can be a work or school account. I then click add, read the privacy statement and license terms and click continue. And here it's asking me to sign in. So I just click sign in. So there's three different types of charts I can choose from. I've got a basic flow chart. I've got a cross-functional flow chart. So there, there we have the swimming lanes. And the last option here is organization chart, which is what I'm using for this example. You've got different styles to choose from. So I'm gonna go for hybrid and just give it a couple of seconds. I'm just gonna resize things just so you can see it a bit clearly. So this org chart has brought in its own data table. I can use my own information by going to my sheet. So I've got my org chart data down here. I select these information, control C to copy. I'm just gonna paste it in here. You'll notice it doesn't update the org chart automatically, but if I click refresh, it will automatically bring in my data. How cool is that? So quick and easy, isn't it? Now let's have a look at updating this. So in this example, we've got Ryan Howard. So Ryan Howard currently reports to Toby, the HR manager. So we're gonna move him to the sales team. So to do that, we need to change his manager ID. So there's no need to drag or drop any boxes. We just change his manager ID. So he's now going to report to Jim Halper. So to do this, I put in Jim's employee ID, which is DM2. Now with this, it is case sensitive. So you will need to put it into capitals if your IDs are in capitals too. Press enter. Again, it doesn't update it straight away, but if I click refresh, it moves Ryan over to the correct team. Again, if you want to change this further, so maybe Ryan is going to report to someone else within the sales team. So we're going to say he's going to report to Andy Bernard. Andy Bernard's going to be his mentor. So again, we just change the manager ID. So he's now going to report to Andy Bernard. So what's Andy's employee ID? It's DM7, DM7, press enter, press refresh. What about adding employees? So let's add an employee here. So I'm going to put in DM17, put in my details, and I'm going to report to Daryl. The warehouse manager, what manager ID do I put in? Yep, DM15. Press refresh and that will update accordingly. So really quick and easy to do. Now, if someone leaves the company, uh, you could simply just delete them. So as long as it's not a manager, um, you can just delete them outright. If you are going to delete a manager, then you need to sort of replace them first. Otherwise the team will have no one to report to and it will cause errors. So if I say remove Phyllis, so I can just click on the row, delete off Phyllis, press refresh and that will update. Now a better way to do it, if you're gonna replace the person that's leaving. So in this example, I'm gonna remove Pam Beasley. So I'm just gonna delete her name this time. So maybe we're interviewing for that role. So if I click on staff and just change this to vacant, press refresh, this will change the color 
of Pam's box. So Pam's box has now become gray to show that it's vacant. So all of these roll types, you can actually just click here and just change the roll type. So in this one here, we've got Dwight. I change his to assistant, press refresh. His box will change to orange to show that he's an assistant. The roll type determines the style of the box. So let me give you another example. I'm gonna add another employee. And this time I'm purposely gonna put in an employee ID that's been used before. So I'm putting in DM17, put in the details. So here I've added Edward Nigma, a HR assistant. So when I press refresh, watch what happens. I get this data checker message comes up. So Excel knows or Visio knows that this number has been used before and it's telling me where the row can be found and I can correct it. So it's really clever. So if I click in here, put in DM18, press retry and it will fix it. So really quick and easy to do. Let's have a look at some other options. Uh, so if you want to share this information, you can just click on the bottom of the dots, go to open in web, and this will open it up in your browser. So from here, I can easily zoom in at the bottom here. And when it comes to sharing, let's close this off. When it comes to sharing, I can just click share, or I can click on the bottom of the dots. And then from here, I can do a, I can print it, I can download it, download it as a PDF, or I can embed it. So this allows me to embed it into a web page or intranet page. Now you might notice there is an edit option here. This edit option does require a Visio subscription to be able to edit this diagram. Or alternatively, if you don't have that subscription, just go back to your Excel spreadsheet, make your changes from here. So I'm gonna move Edward to finance. So what manager ID do I put in? So DM8, so I can press refresh here and it will update it. I go back to the browser and it hasn't updated it here directly, but if I press refresh, it brings the information through. If you want to learn how to create an organizational chart using SmartArt, then watch this video. Otherwise, watch what YouTube is suggesting. And if you haven't already, then please click subscribe. I will see you in the next video.